Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Wednesday's Market Intel Brief at Top Gun Options. Matthew Buckley, call sign Wiz. A uh, lot to brief, man. Very, very busy day. We had two great live trade briefs this afternoon. High noon, we did accelerated retirement. And then at 2 o'clock, we did uh, our weekly options brief. Great weekly options brief. Uh, we had one shot, one kill already this week. We shot down a Microsoft bear call spread that I sent out via text and email alert on Monday. Closed that yesterday morning for a uh, 85 percent whatever it was profit uh 4200 bucks um so good weekly options good accelerated retirement having an absolute blast here at top gun options so here's what we're going to do we're going to do our q2 full throttle welcome aboard training may 16 through 19 this is all free folks i do it sometimes once a quarter sometimes we don't since we're full right now we're going to open up some slots uh, for our free full throttle uh, series i don't give you 52 powerpoint slides and ask you to, to buy anything i literally open up the doors to everything we do here at topkin options the flight schedule is on this page of what we're going to do we'll kick it off sunday night Mar uh, may 16th with an 8 p.m brief why sunday night so you're not looking at charts, you're not doing anything but paying attention to me, who I am, my background, uh, Top Gun options, uh, and all that good stuff. Then we'll get in the market for one, two, three live trade briefs and knock it off uh, on Wednesday, folks, with uh, our accelerated uh, retirement brief. Folks, this is just absolutely fantastic stuff. This is industry leading. Uh, nobody else does this. Uh, well, actually, people do do this, and they charge you for it, which is a disgrace. All you need to do to register uh, is head to go dot topgunoptions.com slash ft that stands for full throttle make sure you register if you can't attend all those live trade briefs because obviously i'm going to give you access uh, to the replay and just for registering you're going to get two free things on me our seven step trade plan it's worth 55 bucks and our opcl our options pocket checklist and that is also uh 45 bucks right there so you're already making money uh by registering okay so head to go.topconoptions.com slash f t before i get into our brief literally before i jumped on the air got a uh, text alert from uh the title company it's official top gun options fighter foundation is the proud owner uh, of an l39 albatross light attack fighter jet isn't that awesome? Going to fly up uh, to Melbourne, Florida on Saturday, pick it up, fly it back down here to Pompano, uh, where actually my boys are back in town. Blue Angels. Blue Angels, uh, I think, uh, yeah, Saturday, Sunday. Well, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Actually, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. A lot of people don't know. So Thursday, they, they do what's called circle and arrival. So the Blues get here on Thursday. They If they're screaming over your house doing stuff, they're actually picking out their checkpoints. So they pick out their checkpoints at various uh, range from what's called show center. So they have these visual checkpoints on the ground uh, that they pick out. Thursday uh, afternoon when they arrive. Friday is a little known practice day. So the Blue Angels practice on Friday. So if you're ever around, a, uh, if you're hearing like, hey, the Blues are here Saturday, Sunday, actually go Friday because that's the practice show. And that's usually friends and family and schools and stuff like that. And then Saturday, Sunday. But anyway, picking up the L-39 Top Gun Fighter Foundation aircraft. Uh, and I'm also making some breaking news that I'm going to be buying one myself. Uh, e. Matthew Buckley is going to buy his own L-39 fighter jet, and I'm uh, eventually, after I put some live ejection seats in it, uh, I'm going to gift that to the foundation. So the Top Gun Fighter Foundation this year will have two L-39 fighter jets, man, and uh, we're going to I'm going to paint them up. We're going to do the air show circuit. We're going to raise awareness for uh, veteran suicide. It's an absolute uh, tragedy, man. And the Joe Biden administration is just reading their recent. Uh, report here on national strategy for preventing s veteran suicide. It's a just, it's, I, I guess my mom said, if, if you don't have anything nice, uh, don't say it at all. They're completely going in the wrong direction. You guys know the direction I'm going in. Um, I had uh, dinner this week with Marcus and Amber Capone from Vets, Veterans Exploring Treatment Solutions. Uh, and they are doing some incredible groundbreaking therapy uh, to try and prevent veteran suicide to help uh, those those men out who have what's called operator syndrome, PTSD, anxiety, uh, depression. Just these guys are at the end of the rope. And guess what? The New York Times this week, a psychedelic drug passes a big test for PTSD treatment. What better Americans to have as as the leading edge of this than uh, 
than our Navy SEALs, our operators, Green Berets, Delta Force folks, uh, and CIA officers who have been injured in the, uh, the line of duty. Um, this is just fantastic. Uh, this week, Top Gun uh, Fighter Foundation uh, gave vets a six-figure grant for the year. And I'm thinking about flying down to Mexico uh, later in the month to put eyeballs on what these operators are going through, the treatment they're going through, uh, because I want to I want to try and save some lives, man. This is just uh, uh, the VA is going about it in the wrong direction, period. Uh, I'll leave it at that. All right. Let's get to trading, man. How about yesterday? What a what a comical day. Janet Yellen told the truth. She actually told the truth yesterday during a Wall Street Journal kind of Q&A. And what happened? The market imploded. Then what happened later in the day? Janet got a call from the White House and walked back her comments. What did she say? She said, hey, the Fed might have to raise interest rates to keep the economy from overheating. All truth with all this government stimulus. Can somebody tell me why we need $6 trillion in new government spending when a year ago, it was the good old days, wasn't it? Unemployment, record lows. Hispanic, female, African-American, everything was hitting on all cylinders. The economy was on all cylinders. We had just beat China into the dirt with a phase one trade deal. There was the good old days, and then here comes the China virus. How should we have gotten back to where we were a year ago? Open the damn country. Two days ago, the great governor DeSantis down here said what? We're done. No more mask mandates. I just got back from Lifetime, man. Nope, no masks. My yoga joint, no masks. Florida, Texas, we believe in individual freedom. If you're scared, stay at home and hide under your bed. My rights don't end where your feelings begin. But anyway, that's how we should have reopened the, gov uh, the, the, the economy, not $6 trillion in new spending. So Janet spoke the truth. Most likely, the Fed will have to raise interest rates. That is verboten speak for a couple reasons. We all know that the second the Fed even considers thinking about raising interest, uh, interest rates, this party is over with. We also know the second that Janet uh, or Jerome, I'm sorry, starts to raise interest rates, we cannot afford it. The U.S. government can't afford rising interest rates. Are you kidding me? What are we, 20, 30 trillion? I don't even know. I don't even know how much debt we're in. Like a 25 bips increase in interest rates is like our entire GDP for a year. The second interest rates start going up, we go bankrupt-er. It's insane how much debt we're in. But Democrats, ain't no problem. Let's just keep spending and spending and spending for absolutely no reason. I know so many business owners in South Florida who cannot staff their businesses. Why? Because they, their employees, former employees, have told them, I'll come back eventually, but I am making more on unemployment than getting up in the morning and going to work. Nice job, Democrats, incentivizing not working and living off of the government. Anyway, Dow Industrials rise to a new record high. If it's a day of the week that ends in Y, we go up. Uh, SPX had a good job hanging today and held that 41.50, uh, kind of a, a key level for the market to uh, to hold here. So there was 40, there's 41.50 right there. We kind of had an OG's experience and went up through it. So um, good good performance out of uh, that. Here's what's funny is you see this type of headline, Janet Yellen's flip flop, and what she's really telling us. Next headline out of the journal: Everything screams inflation. Investors are woefully unprepared for what may be a once in a generation shift in the market. Did you see Warren Buffett and Munger over the weekend? They look like the two old guys from the Muppet Show sitting up there. Uh, Warren Buffett's like, inflation's going through the roof. Everything is up. Look at Canadian lumber. You can make more money smuggling Canadian lumber across the border than Coke right now. It's insanity. Unless you are Janet Yellen or Jerome Powell that sit in the back of a town car with protection and you don't buy your own food, you have no idea what a gallon of milk costs or a gallon of gas. Everything is going up. It is not transitory, folks. She's saying it's transitory. Jerome is saying it's tra transitory. They are both wrong and they are not going to have a soft landing i guarantee it so it's so funny again i have to say this janet spoke the truth yesterday and then was 
a little birdie landed on her shoulder and said, yeah, 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 yeah. All of this spending is not going to cause inflation. Uh, all of this spending is not going to cause inflation. Yeah, okay, click. Anyway, uh, end of an era, man. I spent a lot of time in the CBOT, the CBO, down the street, the CME group, closing most of its Chicago trading pits. Hell, I shot two CNBC commercials on the floor uh, of the CBOT. The pits going the way of the dinosaurs, man. Uh, I mean, almost even when I was up there in Chicago, most of the uh, trading had moved, at least for my our firm, we had closed our, our pits and moved everybody upstairs. This is all, you know, especially, you know, COVID more or less closed the NYSE. Remember, uh, you know, CNBC, they'd be shooting from spot nine or whatever it was called. The guys standing in the background were for show, more or less decoration folks. It's all electronic, right? Open outcry is more or less dead. I think over in the, in the SIBO, all they got left are the, the VIX and the, uh, and the SPX, the S and P 500 pits, but, uh, sad end of an era, kind of like me as a fighter pilot, man. I think my kids, my two boys are the last generations uh, of fighter pilots, man. A lot of things kind of going by the wayside. Uh, Galaxy Digital to buy BitGo and crypto sector's first billion-dollar deal. When that news broke today, uh, saw a nice pop in Mara that wasn't sustained. Mara needs to wake up. I have like 106 – or no, I have 16,000 shares uh, of Mara. I have a half million dollars worth of Mara, kind of a uh, an outsized bet uh, on, on the miner there. Needs to start waking up. Um, their earnings should be coming up in a week or so, but they're, they're looking good, man. Uh, their total Bitcoin, uh, they have 5,292, uh, which is which is pretty good. They got 162.1 Bitcoins in April. Guys, you're, you're preaching to the choir if you're sitting here going, um, Wiz, I thought you were the anti-crypto guy. Well, I'm not buying a Bitcoin. Uh, I like the miners. I like the infrastructure of stuff, not necessarily uh, the stuff. But once hailed as unhackable, blockchains are now getting hacked. I love people that whenever they use the word hack unhackable, I start calling them Captain Smith, uh, guy from the Titanic, or I Ismay, Ismay, yeah, the, the designer of the Titanic. We're not sinking, we're sinking, we're not sinking, we're sinking. If it's made by man or woman, it can be hacked by man or woman, period. So I got to, you know, I, I might start kind of meandering my way out of some of this Mara uh, eventually here, probably after earnings, but it, it's it's a black eye in my portfolio right now, and uh, I don't like black eyes in my portfolio. Uh, covered this stuff. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put eyes on, but this is, uh, I bought uh, 20,000 shares of Mind Medicine earlier, what, this week, last week, whenever it was. Uh, this is a long-term holding. I'm not going to, I'm not going to touch it. This is one of these things. It's $3 stock. It's one of these things that you're going to see breaking news, you know, uh, phase three trials complete and uh, FDA approved, which is what's going on. A couple of this stuff, uh, Johns Hopkins is working on it um, right here. Uh, the first phase three trial conducted, uh, uh, yeah, this is, this is coming. This is the, I'm on, if, if you got into mind med, you are on the leading edge of what's next. Pharma is starting to recognize that people would rather be maybe doing stuff that saves their life coming out of earth than the test tube or, you know, made in a lab here. Uh, but this is really good. Uh, Google this article, uh, a psychedelic drug passes a big test for PTSD treatment. Uh, and, and again, it's just I, I page through this Joe Biden or the Biden administration thing in the VA. The VA is going in the wrong direction, and it's it caught it is one veteran on average a day kill uh, per hour per hour kills themselves. And nothing I read in this document is is doing what Marcus and Amber or the Warrior Health Foundation is doing. So know that when you support the Top Gun Fighter Foundation, uh, we're not the freaking Clinton or the Biden foundations. Ninety five percent of our money spent on Salaries and travel and meals and shit. Ours goes out the front door, man. Six figures this week to uh, we over a half a million dollars last year uh, out the door to uh, to folks um, from Top Gun Options and the foundation, man. Uh, I, I was blessed in 2020 to have one of the best trading years uh, of my life. Uh, and, and helping other people out, even some people at Top Gun Options become uh, millionaires. Little old ladies in tennis shoes, man. Just absolute, uh, I, I give it up to God because uh, uh, God takes care of fools, drunks, and idiots. So I'm, I'm kind of covered on all bases. So, all right, real quick, 
Go register, go.topkinoptions.com slash FT. That stands for full throttle. Uh, I'm one of the only guys in the industry that does this. I open up the doors, and I show you everything. And I show you trading with real money, close to a million dollars in this portfolio, in the two uh, pro uh, portfolio management portfolios, 1758 and 1760. So uh, real money, folks. And not like uh, some people who, uh, who lie out there, which uh, who, who we're uh, bringing to justice. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day. Happy hunting. Make sure you hedge and God bless. I'll talk to you all later.